Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a lovely day. Today's video is going to be the first of the moving vlogs. Currently still in my house, it's Sunday and we move on Tuesday. So I've got a bit of a mess going on around me. Uh, my shelves cleared out, I've still got my corkboard behind me. But all of this and all of this needs to be sorted today. Uh, we're taking the bed apart today, we're doing so much. Basically like packing up to move in obviously this is probably going to be spread across a few vlogs i'm not too sure where like where i'm going to end them it really does depend on how much footage i'm getting that sort of thing come along with me today on sunday i cut my hair last night as well uh gave myself a bit of a trim i just hate my hair long i really do i think i've come to realize that as i'm growing up like when i'm when i was younger all i wanted was long flowy mermaid hair and growing up i hate it when it gets long it looks so straggly on me short life is and this isn't even that short for me um honestly when i get it done professionally i i kept it like this long for a reason so that you know because it's probably not very good um if a hairdresser was going to come and look at it so i kept it this long for a reason so that they can still cut some more off and like they've got plenty of room to play with when i get it done professionally but obviously we've gone into lockdown the second we went into lockdown i started panicking i was like well better do something with my hair then i really want to bleach my roots as well I'm trying to like hold off because you know I don't want to mess up my hair anymore but then I'm like mm, I kind of really want to bleach my roots now as well so I don't know maybe we'll do that who knows this vlog's probably going to be filmed across today and tomorrow like actually packing up and then you'll have a separate one for when we actually move into the flat if that makes sense and then I don't know we'll see where it takes us next video is going to be the empty apartment tour which I'm sure you're all very excited for because i'm excited to film it we haven't started any packing yet jess did quite a bit yesterday actually so obviously under my bed it's like a storage bed it's like an ottoman so yesterday he lifted the bed up and like sorted out everything that was under there decided whether it was coming with us staying here it's just a case of today packing up like the dribs and drabs i think we're gonna get these these drawers are now empty um apart from like a couple of clothes that we'll be wearing over the next couple of days you'll pretty much see me in my joggers non-stop and yeah so these drawers are empty so we probably put them on the van today jesse's got a van with his new job so that's really handy it's come at a really handy time he literally only started his job last week and um, we're moving this week so it's all good uh so we're going to try and get these on the van today uh we're going to pack up all of the bits and bobs i've decided like these bits i'm keeping i've been selling some stuff on facebook marketplace and all that jazz to try and get rid of the stuff that's not necessarily coming with me obviously i went for gold in this room but I only bought a couple of gold pieces and none of the rooms are going to be decorated with gold accessories when we move out so I thought instead of taking it with me and trying to make it work and then ending up spending money on gold stuff that I don't actually want I'm gonna just sell these bits and start with a fresh blank canvas if that makes sense anyway I appreciate it, I'm rambling we're gonna go and get one of the new Costa Christmas drinks it's starting to feel a bit surreal now because I've got a week off of work and I worked my last shift yesterday for a whole week so um yeah it feels a bit surreal that the only thing that i have to focus on now is moving out and it's kind of like oh my god like feels a bit emosh but like for all different reasons like, i'm really excited but i'm also like oh my god i'm leaving my family home and i don't feel like many people touch on that like i'm an only child and i feel like oh i'm gonna miss my cats um but yeah it's all part of the journey and i'm so excited to finally have our own space and can't wait for you guys to come along with. So yeah, I'm gonna go get hot chocolate. See you in a bit. I'm currently in the Costa drive-thru and it looks like everyone and their mum wanted to come and get Costa today because they're obviously all shut. So this is the best we can do for the time being. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Cheers on you. I've got my Terry's chocolate orange hot chocolate. I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit milkier than I thought it would be. There's not much uh, syrup in it. Um, and Jess got the purple one. We thought it was a hot chocolate, but it's actually a latte. So you got the purple quality street latte. And we also got pigs and blanket paninis each because we both love them. And they were buy one, get one free, apparently, which I've never heard Costa do before. So um, we thought, why not? Guys, I just opened my panini and they've stamped this on it. How cute is that? Santa's favorite panini. Mine too. Okay, guys, I have kind of procrastinated like mad today. I literally came home from the Costa we sorted out getting some stuff down from the attic like our christmas tree and stuff 
excuse the state of my skin atm as well so yeah i procrastinate like mad but i'm just gonna sit you on a time lapse and i'm gonna sort out like all of my skincare and stuff i've got some plastic boxes that i'm gonna move uh sorry jesse's dancing in the background trying to make me laugh uh, but he doesn't realize that I will just expose him instead. He's playing Call of Duty and I'm gonna get on with packing away some stuff now I still haven't tackled this like I said I would Don't take it personal I ain't lying I ain't hiding I've been grinding Multiplying I've been trying to get my weight up Staying prayed up Meditating and taking time away You always posting up pictures Trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me, cause baby, I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. Morning, guys. Excuse the state of me. It's literally only just 10 past 8 in the morning um which <laughs> normally is a lion for me but today i wasn't woken up by my alarm i was woken up by the door banging because our ikea order was like a our big finish order was supposed to come between 10 a.m 2 p.m and at like 7 45 this morning my dad runs in and he's like people are banging on the door the order's here already so jess sprints out to go and help him so that we can put it straight onto his van instead of bringing it in and then having to take it back out again. I go about halfway through just to see if they need some help and Jess said that basically um, they had the wrong order with them because you know things have been going suspiciously well so far uh, up to this point so something had to go wrong along the way. So yeah it said on my like I've got literally like an up-to-date tracking information like you would get with like uh, like DPD or like Hermes or whatever. Uh, I had it for Ikea and it basically said like I could see his little van was parked outside my house and it said he's due to be with you between 11.35 and 12.35 I'm thinking well it's 7.45 mate so well, what's going wrong here and then anyway so we go out and it turns out that basically like he obviously had like a certain amount of customers to go and see today and drop off stuff to so he has to like go to the depot get the stuff go to the customer's house go back get the next person stuff and go like he doesn't carry the whole thing with him on the van because it's only so much space what you've done obviously he must have like a little system thingy or whatever but he also had a clipboard with paper on it they had put in the system that his first stop was us so he had like all of the first customer stuff like loads of kitchen stuff um like to build a whole kitchen he had put that on the van and then driven to my address thinking like obviously because the system had told him that was right so i feel really sorry for him like the two of them and they had like started loading jesse's van and it was all really heavy stuff because like they were building like an actual kitchen whoever these people were yeah now it turns out that it wasn't even ours so they've had to take it all back off the van again uh and he said that he'll be back in in a couple of hours um for us what a stressful stressful start to the day being woken up like in a panic it serves me right really i had my alarm on for quarter past seven this morning to go to lidl for when it first opened at eight because we want to do our first shop today so that we've got stuff to take into the flat and we're ready i was like oh, i'll snooze it until 10 a.m when the ikea window comes have a nice lie in today and then i'll wait till the ikea gets delivered and then we'll go out to lidl but uh yeah i decided to do that and really i should have just stayed up at quarter past seven so i was ready for this unforeseen uh bump in the road so yeah i'm feeling rather tired and groggy um but we're gonna go up to lidl now anyway since we're up and get some stuff the guy said he's not gonna be back for a couple of hours but i'm also a bit worried right because even though they've not delivered it i've received a text saying like we would love to hear about your recent delivery click the link and then on my tracking now it says my order has been successfully delivered and obviously it hasn't so now i'm really worried that i'm not gonna get my stuff and it's like over a grand worth of stuff basically <sighs> pray for me i'll update you later on today once hopefully it actually arrives he did the guy seemed really sound and he did say yeah i will be back but just in a couple of hours anyway I'll see you a bit later on and hopefully with some better news and looking a bit better than this as well. Here I am, many, many hours later, still looking just as rough and um, not all that much to update you on. Um, I have just had a nap because obviously I was woken up 
crazy early this morning just having some last minute cuddles with dolly i'm gonna miss her a lot when i move out and um just making the most of all my time with my little furry friend aren't i dolls she's loving it she's loving it aren't you yeah she's purring away i'm sure she's gonna miss me too even though she can't tell me in that right dolls Apparently uh, the order has been delivered. We spent, well I say we, uh, I called Ikea earlier and Jess took over the phone and spent about half an hour on hold listening to ABBA music which I thought was quite inventive because they're Swedish and it makes a difference to your stand to hold music doesn't it? So yes I could hear ABBA as I was falling asleep um, but when they answered they said that they'd called the driver and he was going to deliver within two hours and sure enough he has done so. I'm gonna go downstairs and show you how the van's looking. In here, the bed's been taken apart now, so I'm currently on the mattress on the floor. We have one of our chest of drawers has been taken out and put in the van, so this is just what we've got left, like clothes-wise, in these two drawers. Um, I've still got both of these cabinets. I wasn't gonna take them with me, but I think that they'll go quite nicely in the bathroom because there's not a lot of bathroom storage. Ignore how full my bin is. Um, this is stuff that's staying here and then I'm taking the big so, uh, white mirror with me as well. I'm going to get myself up now and I will show you how packed we're looking in the van. Uh, we pick up the keys at 8.30 tomorrow morning so uh, another early start but I've got feelings tonight it's going to feel like Christmas Eve like when you're a child. I say when you're a child I still can't sleep on Christmas Eve nowadays. I'm very excited and it's just like the final bits now. So this is what the inside of the van's currently looking like. Got all the stuff all the way at the front, all of our IKEA stuff packed all the way back here, and this is literally the only space we've got, just enough space to fit me in, pretty much. This is my bed. This is this looks like our sofa potentially. Oh my God, it's a, it smells like IKEA in here as well. So I mean, we're not complaining about that. Bedside tables, very. Very full van, Jesse wasn't kidding when he said it was full. And we might just about fit the last of our furniture from my bedroom in here. What is these? Coffee table. I think this is for our TV bench. Very exciting. Currently on the last piece of packing. Jess is just putting away the TV. This is my empty shell of a room. This mirror is coming with us, I'm not sure if I mentioned that before. Um, and this is everything we're taking, this left. Everything else is already packed away, so it's feeling very surreal. We're about to leave in literally five minutes, go and get the keys. Feeling very surreal this morning, but uh, excited. Ooh, see, the stuff falling over me left, right, and centre. Um, on to the next adventure. Kind of scary, kind of exciting. Um, I think I'll feel. I'm feeling more nervous than anything, I don't know why. Um, I never see anyone saying they feel nervous to me about that. I was just excited, but like, I kind of feel nervous. I think I'll feel okay once we're back in the flat, because um, obviously, I don't know. I'll explain a bit of a backstory about how we found the flat in my empty apartment tour and like how everything came to be. Um, so that'll be my next video that's up. So I hope you've enjoyed the first moving vlog. Uh, if you want to follow me along on this home journey, then please do subscribe down below if you haven't already. Turn the button from red to grey. Give me a big thumbs up if you're excited for all the moving stuff. So I'll see you in the next video, guys, which will be the empty apartment tour. You won't want to miss it. I'm super nosy, so I love watching things like that. So if you do too, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.